one side. And so just I am showing uh, one paper yesterday I received it for review. The conference organizer from University of Hawaii sent me this paper. Please read it and please send me your review comment. Either this paper is acceptable or not. If acceptable, then it should accept as it is or it should need some minor revision or major revision. So the people who write a paper, they make a title called Comparative Study of Computer Security Methodology for Countering Cyber Attacks. The authors are Francisco Manuel Hilario Falcon, big name, Milan David Lento Erivano, mm -hmm. <laughs> big name, and then Giancarlo Sanchez Etuncar, and fourth author is Ivan Crispin Sanchez. So maybe the first author written paper, but he put his name of his three friends. Then when these three friends write their own paper, then they will. Mm -hmm. So that is called mutual exam or that is called mutual cooperation. And so that is a story. United we stand, divided we fall. So if you write one paper with one author, then you have only one publication. But if you unite <laughs> or make a collaboration, that is okay. Their university is a universidad Cesar Vallejo. It is a Spanish word. That means University of Cesar Valleja is a place, or maybe anything. City is called Lima, and country is there, and their email address. This is their form. They are telling nowadays computer security ensures the absence of risk in any of the elements of a system, such as hardware, software, computer, human resource, networks, users, data, and procedures. Interrupting that any user or person without authorization can have access to the information obtained in the system and avoiding, modifying, damaging, altering, eliminating and or giving it any treatment that is not obtained. That is why a large organization or IT researcher developed a methodology and there are three types of methodology for computer security. First is ISSF methodology. Second is OSSTMA methodology and third is WA, OWASP methodology. The objective of the present research is the comparison of computer security methodology. So they are doing not something new, just they are comparing three methodologies to counter cyber attacks with the following criteria. Years of inspection, country of development, definition, characteristics, methods, measure. So when you see pictures, it will not kill you. So they make a table. They are taking indicator as years of initiation, developing development, country, definition. So they have taken three methodology: ISSF, OSSTM, and OWASP. And the people is trying to write a paper in English but with a Spanish background or a Spanish as a mother tongue. So they did a mistake. In place of writing methodology of ISSF, mm -hmm. they are writing methodology de ISSF. Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll mention they have to. So they say this methodology, when created, no one knows. This methodology was created in 2000. And this methodology had created in 2001. Development country was EEU, and they have all three have different definitions, mm -hmm. and all three have different characteristics. All three have different methods. All three have different phases. All three have different benefits. So what they have did, they take three different concepts, three different methodology and compare it. And then they are telling in their word, okay, this is better, this is not better, this is far better, why this is better? And their observation become a section called results and discussion. So here they are trying to prove which one is best, which one is bad. 
and then they finally write the conclusions and they put one section for recommendation and this is the reference section. This paper they mention for their research. So, so is this a research paper or review paper, the one that you just show? Just review paper. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, but they did not mention a review in a title. Otherwise, they but they are telling comparative study of. So when oh. they are doing some comparative study, it is understood it is review or survey. All right. So now, all right. Come back to our syllabus. So now we are coming to our syllabus and we are trying to cover the third line of unit one syllabus. Uh, we are in unit one and this is lecture number three. The line written in our syllabus in unit three, the third line, it is identification of exploit category. So we should know software and networks come up with built-in protection against hacker, sort of like locks that keep unwanted guests from sneaking inside. A vulnerability then is like an accidental open window that a thief can climb through. So already software and my house, if I compare both, then I have put a gate and lock. So unwanted thief can't do. That means I have also, in, for my software vulnerability, I have put some lock with using password. We can open the software, but there is a vulnerability that is like accidental open window. Although it is open, it is a door, we can lock it, but accidental open window. That means I forget to close window. Similarly, in software, there is a something which I forget developer when they were developing they forget to close that port so that is accidentally open window that we may test that is a vulnerability and in the case of a computer and network thieves can install malicious software through the vulnerability or we may can say through open windows so in order to control the system for their own nefarious ends so vulnerability are nothing but weakness or security flaw in a system or a network that can allow malicious sectors or hacker a way in. So if a vulnerability is the open window in a system, exploit is the rope or ladder. So if vulnerability is open window, exploit is nothing but a rope or ladder, the thief used to reach the open. So exploit is simply a tool created to leverage a specific vulnerability. Without vulnerability, there is nothing to exploit. So see, this is window, but it is closed, so it is not a vulnerability. This is a window, this is open, and that is accessible to hacker. That means hacker can it's exploited open. Then this is a vulnerability. And hacker is exploited. This is also window, but it is open, but it is not accessible by the ladder. That means this vulnerability, his intelligence, this hacker has no knowledge to exploit this vulnerability. Then we can say, okay, this vulnerability exists but he is not more sufficient enough, his knowledge is not up to that standard to exploit it. So here vulnerability exists, here exists, here hacker exploiting it, here hacker not exploiting So we said the window on the left is locked, so there is no window. The window on the right is open and vulnerable. The window on the right is open and vulnerable, but too high up to exploit. Mm -hmm. And the window in the middle is open and vulnerable. And crucially, close enough to the ground to exploit.
Explants are commonly classified as one of the two types, non or unknown. Non explants have already been discovered by cyber security researchers. Whether the non exploit is due to a vulnerability in a software, OS, or even hardware, developer can code patches to plug the code. If a house owner, I know there is a vulnerability, then I will go and close the window. That way, if I am a software developer, then I will develop the patches to plug the code. So, identification of exploit category. So if it is non-exploit, then there should be a patches I may develop. But if I know, know the window is open, then I can go back to house and make it close. But if a non-exploit, that means I did not know if the window is open or it is open or not, then we say it is a zero-day exploit. A non-exploit, also known as zero-day exploit, in contrast, are created by cyber criminals as soon as they discover a vulnerability and they use the exploit to attack victims on the same thing. That's why it is called zero day. So I get information, this window is open. So I will try to <laughs> enter into that in order to theft, making theft. Or I will wait for tomorrow, then owner may return. Owner went to some another city may sure and for some tour and he returned, then why is the use of that vulnerability for a thief? Similarly, a cyber criminal want to exploit to attack victims on the same day. That way, on one exploit called zero day exploits. When a zero day exploit attack happens, software developer and cyber security researchers have to scramble to figure out how the exploit works and how the patch, how to patch the vulnerability. So some famous examples of exploit. One exploit for eternal bullet is one of the most famous and most damaging exploit out there. Originally developed developed by NSA, Eternal Blue was stolen by a shadow broker hacking group and then leaked in March. Although Microsoft discovered the leak and issued a security update to patch the vulnerability, but till Microsoft developed patch, many people and organizations failed to apply the patch in the time. And this allowed hacker to proceed with some of the most damaging cyber attacks in a history, including WannaCry, WannaCry. WannaCry was the stop of nightmare. It was a wormable attack that used the eternal blue exploit to spread exponentially across computer network, infecting 10,000 machines per hour in 150 countries. So in one day, they infected 2.4 likes or 0.24 million machines. In a one week, they so as a ransomware, WannaCry encrypted computers, rendering them inaccessible, a huge issue for the national health services, government, university, and large corporation that WannaCry victim. Although now WannaCry is no longer active, other exploits can still take advantage of eternal blue to attack window users running outdated software. So make sure your window is updated with all security patches installed. So legal implication of hacking. This is the term in syllabus of legal. So from that some questions arise. Is ethical hacking legal in India? Yes. Hacking is a wrongful act under Indian legal system. Hacking, not ethical. Although Indian law do not speak specifically deals with ethical hacking, yet hacking is a punishable offense in India. The act of hacking contravenes the underlying principles of Indian legal system. The subject of ethical hacking has not been dealt with explicitly in Indian law, therefore it enjoys 
न्यूट्रल स्टेटस अंडर इंडियन लीगल सिस्टम सो देर इज अन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एक्ट टू थाउजेंड दैट इज द फर्स्ट एक्ट इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर साइबर सिक्योरिटी और आई टी बेस्ड क्राइम आई टी एक्ट टू थाउजेंड इज अ वाटर सेट मूवमेंट इन इंडियन लीगल सिस्टम एंड अ लैंडमार्क इन द साइबर लॉ एरिया If we look at the provision of IT Act closely, we can deduce that it covers almost all the wrongs that emerge from hacking, because hacking is such offence which is very wide and covers a lot of other offences. There are so many sections. If we do this crime, this section, police will apply one. If we do this crime, that. <laughs> so there are two. Uh, one. Chapter 11, Section 66 of IT Act 2000 deals with the act of hacking. Section 61 defines a hack as any person dishonestly or fraudulently does any act referred in Section 43 is called hack. Section 66 to prescribe the punishment for it. So here hacking defines. And here punishment is defined. Hacking is a punishable offence in India with imprisonment up to three years, or with a fine up to two lakh rupees, or with more. So before hacking, make sure there is a two lakh balance in your account. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise three years imprisonment. Chapter 11, Section 43 of IT Act 2000 prescribes a penalty for the damage to computers or a computer system. It is a common thing which happens whenever a computer system is hacked. Black hats damage the system that they hack and steal the information. This enumerative provisions includes a lot of activity. Chapter 11 of Section 65 of the Said Act makes tampering with computer source document an offence. Section 72 of the same chapter makes the breaches of confidentiality and privacy a punishable offence. That means, a uh, hacking someone user ID and password comes to Section 72. This is the most common aftermath of hacking. So in syllabus, there was uh, identification of exploit categories. Then there was legal implication of hacking. Then there is a reverse implication. So before coming to class, just go through this syllabus. So you will get idea of what you are going to read today. So what is reverse engineering? For example, uh, when we give A toy to a boy, a small kid. They break it in order to know how it is working, <laughs> what is there inside. So they are by they are <laughs> the youngest reverse engineers in this world. <laughs> But someone give me a operating system called Windows, and someone tell me I have to hack. Before hacking, I should know how Windows inside. Because in looking the front, we can't hack it. So I should get inner idea of it, the inner architecture of it. So for that, but Windows is not giving us code, not giving us in inner architecture. Then what I should, I should flow all the functions they have, and then I will start creating all functions one by one. And then I will integrate all functions, and what product which I will develop, I will say, okay, this is similar to Windows, okay, not exactly Windows, but this is similar to Windows, and that was reverse engineered by me. So there is a two type of engineering: forward engineering, where you make a code, and then we make a software. And then we sell that software. In reverse engineering, we buy a software, then we see the software, and then we make a code. 
So making code is the last step. So that's why it is called reverse engineering. Reverse. In car, there is a forward gear, there are four, four, five forward gears, and there is one reverse gear. So, for example, I get a one car. Okay. I have no blueprint, I have no automobile engineers who can sketch the car, I have no proper sketch or original sketch of car. I see the car. I dismantle it. That means I disintegrate it into one part by part and then okay I think okay these are the parts and how these are connected these are the parts and how they are connected then I buy similar parts from the shop I make a list and, and then I integrate it then I say I reverse engineer a car without going to the company and all parts are given me just like this car will work for 6 years this car will also for 6 years or 15 years or 15 years because I reverse engineered it and company is not authorized me to reverse engineer but I need that car I have no money to buy pay the price to company then I reverse engineer but in hacking no one will come okay this is this uh, this is I and this is my code and this is my blueprint and please help me <laughs> no one is going to come and say I. <laughs> It's our duty and we are intended, it's our intention to hack something. Okay. Then the software company will not say, okay, yes, yes, please hack me. I was waiting for it. <laughs> no one okay. I want to hack some software or some PC. Then I should reverse engineer it. Then when I blow, know all the rooms, all the gates, internal gate, outer gate or something, like how many windows it have, how many gates it have, then it will be easy to hack it. That's why reverse engineering is the most required prerequisite of any science. If you want to hack it, first you have to reverse engineer it and then reverse engineering refers to the duplication of another producer's product. Flowing a through examination of its construction or composition. So we see base object, we do reverse engineering, then we make the nearly the same model of this base object. This is called reverse okay. But when I was doing reverse engineering, and I was doing a reverse engineering of a car which has no AC, let us suppose. Then I get an idea, okay, if I will add AC in there, because I can able to assemble car, I have reverse engineering, okay. Then if I put something innovative or innovation, if I apply innovation, mm -hmm. then there may be an enhanced model of engineering product, and that we may sell mm -hmm. as on our product, so that the generally US or American people make a product by forward engineering and the Chinese start reverse engineering mm -hmm. all product of this globe mm -hmm. and they are although sometimes they apply some innovation and they like come up with the same so there no one take uh, novels but all product within one or two years after development in America or USA reverse engineered by them Similarly, America make an atom bomb in 1945. They do not give us an idea. They do not give us a theory or blueprint on how we can make an atom bomb. So what? The Russian engineer, the reverse engineer. They think this is an atom bomb, how it can be here, the tubes, the building, and then come. Maybe with innovation, we are atom bomb, maybe more effective than that. Similarly, Indian scientists also first they buy some missiles from the USA and Russia and then they start reverse engineering it and they come. We develop our own missiles. <laughs> first we buy the reverse engineer, they say no, now we are not buying missiles, but we are self sufficient, China. So we are self, we can reverse engineering.
so benefits examining the structures and process of an application can lead to product innovation knowledge gained by other researchers work reconstructing a product that is outdated if there is a product that is not available mm. even their company is stop marketing they have a stop products but i want that then i will take one outdated product maybe from garage maybe from the <laughs> garbage store and then i will recast and i will launch with my one product the discovery of software vulnerability and the development of application that are more efficient and cheap so reverse engineering in hack in the security world researcher is reverse engineering to find security risks in a program to understand malicious application it is cyber criminals can also use this technique to exploit security bugs in application the difference with the security researcher is what they do with the vulnerability information reverse engineering in hacking in a ro- report conducted on april 2019 they found that 97% of 30 top mobile financial apps that were tested were lacking binary protection making be compiling a review of the source code possible so there is a tool that can generate a code if you provide the app they will generate the code of it but if there is a binary protection in a world then we can we generate the code easily upon the compiling an app all kind of sensitive information can be exposed API URL API key all hard coded in the apps so the URL can lead a takers to non standard port number development servers private key application file directory that were used for testing by developers quality assurance engineer and can lead an attacker to compromise entire process so in reverse engineering what is expected so the more obfuscated the code is the more often it is true that code in person is reaching vulnerable so code jitna complex so code of what should be the complexity if complexity of code will increase if the line of code will increase then there is a chances vulnerability of code will also increase so we can use our expertise to examine or inherit and develop exploits for our red team so using the reverse engineering we develop exploit to whom for our red team to test our blue team or company team so for example out of six students i put two in blue team two in red team two in white then i say okay red team develop some exploit and do a take on this system and i inform blue team defend our system so we will not understand the true impact of vulnerability in our environment unless you can measure the so if red team will not attack so blue team is not able to measure the impact and if we will not measure the impact then we can't make a mitigation plan which we are reading in another subject called cyber incident response <laughs> so here in ethical hacking we are dealing with cyber ethical incidents we are making it. then we have to make a response plan against so that course this course related to white hackers that white thing that course related to blue team maybe i have not gone through your whole mtx level there may be one course related to that things pure here yes, this i think is just depend red team red team white team blue team who will depend that sir get it here red team here white team it can like or blue team here we may say white team or blue team to depend on them so these are the different courses which we have to so 
in a job, in a cyber security, who may get a job in a red team, who may get a job in a blue team, who get a job in a white team, who may get a job in gray team. So, zero day. A zero day attack is when hacker leverage their zero day exploit to commit a cyber attack. So, difference. In exam, I may ask or someone ask, differentiate zero-day attack with zero-day vulnerability to zero-day exploit. All three are different. Zero-day is common because original developer or original author do not know these exploits. Someone find, someone exploit. Someone find vulnerability, someone is exploiting and initiating attacks. All are in so you may remember these pictures for any question related to zero day if you draw this then no matter person if it is a zero day vulnerability if it is a person is zero day expired this picture will be answered if it is a zero day attack this picture will not answer in a pencil so there is a methodology of reverse engineering and exploit methodology discover functionality in order to determine how to undermine use targeted fudging to identify behavior which can be abused reverse engineer proprietary protocol find vulnerabilities build a text sense for exploit provide exploit proof of concepts or package exploit module then in a syllabus it is written manual PT. So when I first think what is a PT, then I also thinking what is a PT. <laughs> I search PT and then, then I recall okay PT means pen pressing. They have written with a sort. <laughs> then I say okay. Pen and testing has been evolving throughout the year with a robust increase in highly sophisticated attacks. Every organization is now aware of the damage caused by cyber attacks and private and government organizations are now conducting scheduled penetration tests for every three months or less than. So they assign their red team to penetration tests to check now our system is up to date or not. So if the red team success, then they will inform blue team or white team to defend it. Blue team to defend it and it can like a white team to patch it. And then. The attackers are increasing day by day and now almost every device is vulnerable to an on price zero day or Attacks like meltdown and spectre have gone too deep that it exploit a vulnerability at the processor level. Likewise, the former is also one of the important attacks vector. This paper discussed multiple methods for reverse engineering, a router, firmware, and the processor backtracking. Again, when I was searching PT, then I also found processor trace. So if attack is on processor level, so I am also what is this in our selector? This is penetration testing. Or process address. You should read it. <laughs> if in exam there is a question about define PT, then you can say PT can be defined in two manners. It may be a process address or it may be a penetration testing. If it is a penetration testing, then this is the definition. And if it is a process address, then this is the definition. Okay, so questions again. Another question may come. What is manual penetration testing? So manual penetration testing is the testing that is done by a human being. In such type of testing, vulnerability and risk of a machine is tested by an expert engineer. Generally, testing engineers perform the flowing methods. What they do? They first do data collection, then vulnerability assessment. Then they work on actual exploit and then they report that. And this is the figure, you sir. 
data collection, reliability assessment, simulated exploit, reporting, and remediation. So when you define manual penetration and you say it has a four or five methods, then you have to define all in one or two. So data collection play a key role for testing. One can either collect data manually or can use tool services. Really a devil one. So this tool helps to collect information like table name, DB version, database, software, hardware, and even about different third party plugins, such like in in map. In in map, using option B, we are getting information about operating system and versions. There is also a script, minus minus a script, equal HTTP new, in order to get information about folders. Then there was also a script for MySQL and PostgreSQL that you can run and know the table name, DB version. Then we'll do vulnerability assessment. Once the data is collected, it helps the tester to identify the security weakness and take preventive steps accordingly. Then there is an actual exploit step. This is a typical method that an exploit tester used to launch an attack on a target system and likewise reduces the risk. Then there is a reporting of penetration. Once the penetration is done, the tester prepares a final report and that describes everything about the system. Finally, the report is analyzed to take corrective steps to protect the target system. And this is our MTech syllabus. So if you if you have seen the whole syllabus, then recall you need five each complete report right. So they say either you are able to attack it. No matter. Either you are able to defend it, no matter. If you are good in writing, so go through unit 5 and write something. Some paper, some report, some, some white paper, some. So the intention of fifth unit is write and only write. How much you can write? You may write a book, you may write a paper, and I expect you should write at least one book. Because writing a book is not our own idea, we can take information from 10 different books. If we copy one book and publish it for own book, then that would be a great <laughs> That author may file a case as a copy. But if you take 10 different books and then we'll see, okay, this concept, take a manual canvas. In defining this footage in this cities and in this book in this way. And I am, after reading all 10, in my word, I am going to define it this way. Then your book is unique. No one is going to make any copy right. So until unless there is a no copy, you can publish a book. And why we should publish a book? That gives us a freedom in sense of working or in yes. sense of work. How? If I publish a few books and then book was in sale, for example, we will yeah. come again on 27. Okay? Yeah. For example, I am a person. If I come here and make an attendance, I will stay for a day, then I will get some money for this daily attack. Same thing in your corporate job, you will go for a job, you will go for a job, then you will get a sale. If you will not go for a job, you will not get some. How much time you are sleeping in your room? You are not getting any salary. But if you have a written book and you are sleeping in India, and someone is to, some is going to wake up in US and they search a book and find your book and they buy it. You get money? Still sleep? When you woke up, you see a message, oh, I got a $100 royalty 
Oh, by six root cell. Ah, great. One. When I am sleeping, I am. Second one. I will not be a. Uh, that means as we never feel that if I will not go for a job, then how I will treat my kid, how I eat, how I will pay the rent or I will pay my daily expenses. So if I have a ten book, then I am a three. I can't do, do this job, I can't do this Because the royalty of these books are enough to sustain my life. So we should think if we are a master, your degree, we say, okay, which course, which what is your higher qualification? He says, sir, I am a master in technology. If you are a master in technology, then your master should sit in here some form of return. I know if when I die, then no company will give me a salary. Give or give me any salary to my family. No. But my book will say my family will get one. For the next 50 years after my death, my family will get money after my death. 50 years after my death from my death. And after 50 years, the book become open source. And then now anyone can publish it, anyone can copy it, just like Bible. Any publisher can publish it, just like my Bible. Any publisher can publish it. The author says, That's all. The reasons which I want my student should be a financial freedom. Have a financial freedom. Otherwise, I can't fail. Otherwise, I think I never justified or it will be a... If I can't, if I make a slave for a company or a slave for an organization, then it should be failure as a teacher. It should be my failure as a teacher. If my student will not write book, not become a financial freedom. So if I, I have a 10 book and that is selling, I am gaining $100,000 royalty, then I can spend my one year in a, any hill station in a Switzerland and write a one book in Iceland, sitting in the Corfu Island in Greece. And then <laughs> I spend another six months, you know, another great location called went to Bali, Indonesia and enjoying the beauty of surroundings and I took another <laughs> in between. So it should be our duty. So these are types of manual penetration testing that is focus and comprehensive And these are pros and cons we should be in because if there will be seven number course a manual penetration test, then we should give definition, you should give all methods, you will draw this picture, you will describe the two types, and then you have to give pros and cons, advantage and disadvantage. And then we have to again mention, or we should know, what is reverse engineering hacking tools. This is not in syllabus, but we should know. With these tools, we can create any software. That means we just give them the outputs or exe file, they will be able to code. So there are so many and all have some different different characteristics. This is the case study in reverse engineering. You can go through this link and practice it. They have steps to create a reverse engineering product. Then. So now to hair to hair, leave me just send that thing. VJ, who is VJ, please? Vanita. Vanita huh? okay. and Jacobs. So I think two are absent. Lim and. Yes, sir. Yes, so two are absent and now I am waiting for your book and something like so when I will search Bonita in Google or in Amazon, at least I find something to show. And also 
degree is another thing that is a second thing if you have some publication and world recognized as an author will go for some university and deliver a lecture say they introduce us he is a big author in field of ethical hacking he's published a book with a million copies sold and he has earned billion in a royalty and <laughs> no, nothing it may possible and all my students have a capability to do it So wait, to say, books and many things. Better like edition, publications like Sierra, and book like William Sterling Chen, J.K. Rowling. Just like Harry Potter series, there will be ethical hacking series. So think in that way and. You will pass the course, you will learn the course, you will pass everything. World will remember good from our degree. There are so many, but there are less authors, less, especially technical authors.